Imagine if you made like a high one that flies over and then one that hits the back wall. Like, or, or maybe even yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 6 of uh, Pimp My Lineup. Today we have a special guest, Mr. Sliggy, aka the uh, big brain coach that keeps Team Liquid Valorant in check. So he's gonna give us some actual insight on the lineups and how they can be used maybe in pro play. Who knows? Oh, it's not. Wow. Now that's not too. Because this is start of round, right? Oh, wait. So does it scan it through the leaf? It goes through that. So I wonder if. Um... I wonder if this would be banned in tournaments. We had something similar um, that was not allowed. It lands on the metal thing behind it, right? It doesn't actually. It doesn't actually go through the leaf. It just scans through the leaf, right? Yeah, it scans. It scans through the leaf, so you can't actually see it when you're on site, though. Oh shit! But it still goes through. And in like your ranked games, I think this is great. In, in our like VCT stuff, they normally don't allow this. If it still scans through the leaf, but you can't see it, that's kind of kind of sick. That's like the one I showed you in the previous episode that scanned through the roof on Split B. I, I'm not sure this gets back. Yeah, where your cursor is now. I'm not sure yeah. it gets that back corner, but yeah, maybe. I think you might have a dead zone here. Is there some pimping? I mean, you have tons of options on where you want to stand here. One thing you could do, I think, is shoot it from here. Because then you could actually swing window and play off of the info too. Yeah, I think it's another one of those ones that it's good, but right now it's only a supportive arrow where... In this case, it's easy to make it both a supportive arrow, but also an arrow that works for yourself. This is what I find cool now that we're on like episode 6, because the deal is that subs can send lineups once per week, right? So some people send like, after you give them feedback, they will send like the upgraded version. This first bounce interaction is kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> It, Actually, like the the second one's pretty good because this would potentially go. No, I, I don't think it's, so. It's, it's kind of like what we were saying, like we're trying to get past the wall. It's almost there. I think the problem with hitting this area thing though, is that it's like circular, like it it's a really small surface hit correctly, and they're both jump arrows, and jump arrow timings are very funny. I have some anti plant shock darts for B that are really good when when you don't play against. Say this because I think if you're playing as a sage, none of your anti plant lineups really work because the wall can be placed in such an awkward yeah, spot. Yeah, it just bounces off. Imagine if you made like a high one that flies over and then one that hits the anti back stage. wall, like or, or maybe even yellow. I'm down to make an anti sage double shock for icebox if you want to. This is actually gonna be really hard, so yeah, maybe that's why no one's done it before. Yeah, maybe. A double shock dart for the close sage ball plant spot that is right here. here. You get into this corner, you take the C under your drone, you place it right there with a one bar one bounce, and then you take the left mouse indicator right on the, this corner here and do a one bar. So it's gonna look like this. Shout out to Johnny PK for helping me finding this lineup. Spike planted. I just realized that you I should have probably also have said shout out to Sliggy for helping me find oh, this line. No, no, honestly, I like to be left in the shadows anyway. Okay, I instantly don't like the position it's done from. What? <laughs> honestly, I kind of like this. Okay, so it's definitely fast enough though, because it double bounces this way. It's definitely yeah, fast yeah, enough. Yeah. It's, it's not... It's not no, one of those... This is, this is nice, I'm telling you. Because you can't get shot from long, right? You can't now. get shot from long, no. How's the timing? This is, this is, honestly, this is this is pretty good. Timing's not too bad. Personally, at least, I would prefer still this one because you can't see this spot from A long either. And you're more safe from A short. So my my counter to that is it's faster to go up short for a default plant than it is to run up long. So you actually in this position you're gonna if when you run up short you're gonna see the spike faster than than being in this other pause that you're saying along. Ah, oh, so so uh, you mean like after you shot the arrows to run yeah, back and yeah. help? That is a good shout. It's one of those if you know where the enemy team is, this one. 
could be better in some situations. Yeah, you could send me that one. That one's. I, I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can send me that. Send to Coach Sleeky. Got it, got it. This one is probably better for a pro team. Because they can set it up in a way that makes it work. Yeah, while you can, you can have a lot of situations around this. Yeah, while the one I do is probably the uh, solo queue one. Where like you can't rely on your team, so just put yourself in a corner and pray. Tip of the Shock Dart logo on this blue spot right here. Like that. And then you do a three bar. And uh, it should land on the spot you already know. Oh, I see. He says the spot right you already here. know. I think that it hits a good spot, but like, like when people say like the cons are that uh, they fly slowly, I'm like instantly worried that 90% of the time it's just gonna. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be super easy to shoot. Freaking our scans, most of a side in Haven, along with inside of Heaven. Two charges. Scanning ahead. This lands over here and scans all of this side as well as heaven. That's a, I like that... it. I like it landing like that. I think it's good. I think my only concern is that so obviously it's a team play arrow, right? This one is for yeah. your team. First of all, it's a little bit slow. I think that it's better to shoot an arrow that both supports your team and you can play off of it. Because I feel like if you make a supportive arrow for your team, that's kind of the choice you make if there's no other option, right? I get that it gets heaven and it's kind of cool that it gets heaven. The guy's in heaven, he's just going to shoot it because it's in front of him. I like that it also sees up A long. In terms of like, uh, if I'm if I'm going to insta rush, like if we're insta rushing A at the beginning, I quite like it. Because everyone's yeah. going to be playing close, right? Like you're saying, close mm -hmm. long. There's like two ways of thinking about it. It's like if, when you play Haven, sometimes you see people playing snake bites from back in spawn because it doesn't matter if you can hear the diffuse sound after you popped your poison cloud. You're just stalling for as much as possible at that point. I really don't like how easy it is to spot you from here. If you're destined to play post plant from here, which I think is a pretty scary idea in the first place, I would at least move to this corner somehow. Are you surprised we don't see more like after plant with Viper on Ascent? The problem with a lot of teams is that I feel as soon as they have a post plant lineup, they don't know how to position the rest of the team for it. Viper post plants that are played from uh, B main, for instance, and you have someone like holding maybe somewhere here or maybe even back here, if you know that no one's pushing from middle, it's so hard to actually push them. If they start to push you and you have info on it, you can also run away. Cause that's the thing on many other maps too, that the, the hard part about playing against a Viper post plant is that you need to kill her to stop the poison cloud. Okay. Revealing area. This is something that I do a lot already without a lineup, which is basically just aim for this corner. So from this spot, you can literally stand here in this box and just aim for this very corner and just shoot a one bar. And then pretty much anywhere on the corner that you hit is fine. First of all, I think that by hitting this high up, you might not scan people if they crouch. I think I like better to aim further down than hitting this high because it gives people more time to hide from it. Because sometimes people shoot arrows very high up to scan more stuff and see more stuff. But it, the problem is also that it also gives them more time. Revealing area. Oh, it, okay. There's one thing that is really important and that is that you want the uh, recon to hit here. Underneath, so you get both sides, right? Yeah. The difference between hitting here and here is gigantic because if you hit here, it actually clears out this cubby too. Because this is an angled surface and this is a super common cubby to play post plant if it's planted here. On the bridge outside kitchen, there is a really easy one bar that I do that you just fly over the roof and it hits right here in the bottom corner. Wait, really? Yeah. You can send me that one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for this one, I think I don't think there's any point in doing it from here. You're gonna get spammed so hard. Doesn't land perfectly, but it's worked a few times. <laughs> I love that. This isn't really great, but it works for me. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Right here. Wait, where is he? Hello? It's to get the market guy right holding the angle. Yeah, but. <laughs> this is. Yeah, it's a little bit... Uh... This is a slightly iffy position, I'd say. Yeah. I can already say that this is a spot you never want to stand in for more right than here. half a second. It's not. He 
it gives me a little bit of anxiety for sure to be honest yeah a little push off could be possible maybe to do from the other side i think uh maybe from this back corner scanning ahead revealing area oh like Dude, it's hard to get there why would you be here like this would be insane this would be the perfect lineup if there was a good reason to be here you know because it comes from like the sharpest possible angle there's no way of them seeing it coming from there so if you're like a flank pusher from a sova player then yes you would most likely never be here as a sova right I was actually talking to stream about this earlier, like trying to work out if a Sova Luck has like potential. Obviously it's not as good as like a Cypher and stuff like that, but I feel like yeah. it, it has potential and, and you would have to know these mm -hmm. kind of lineups, but it's so hard like situational wise. Oh yeah, it's just oh, facing okay, the corner. <laughs> In terms of like a, a fake, I guess it would only work like as a one-off though. As I'm thinking like pro games because they'll know where you're shooting yeah. it from. But in terms of like if you're doing loads of stuff that lands on A and then you send a guy in, like you send a raise into uh, lamps or something, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I think the biggest issue is obviously where it's flying from. I mean, the spot it hits is really good and the lineup is easy. So and it, like, like, yeah, it maximizes the amount of area. Yeah, that... if this is what you need, this is the lineup for it, you know. He main the tree dart. Ooh. Oh, crouch, double bounce into the G. Okay. Jesus. Oh, definitely gonna scan. Gonna I, I tell you what, actually, if, if you did like, if this was a proper fast A hit and everyone's going, because everyone just runs back from door, right? And everyone plays like this kind of area when you're hitting it really fast. It could be okay when you're doing that. I think this is good though. If you want to do a fast A hit and you want to clear behind button, you can even, because you can wall bang this as well. If I was to pimp it, I'd say that like, doing this whole double bounce thing is probably a bit unnecessary because you're extremely safe here in the first place. I think that what you could do this better is probably to make it be more that you can play off of it, right? I think you could actually tap this to the top right corner there super fast and you could literally swing on uh, a main and play off it yourself. So I think this one also goes into the book of supportive lineups that doesn't need to be only supportive. It's definitely a good variety arrow nonetheless, I think. Yeah, I, I think this would be worth learning. Oh yeah, that's fine. I'm I think that's pretty common. Those are the two I do. Cause... Yeah, they're really strong. Like people have started using them against us. Cause, cause now at least for our players, uh, like everyone's super used to the one that we see in this video, but these cannon ones can catch people off. That's oh, a good arrow to know. <laughs> what the fuck? What? China's what am I watching? <laughs> what just happened? It just lands on the ground. Revealing area. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a troll. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that. I like the brimstone lineups. I'm a big fan of brimstone. I think the stim pack is actually one of the most underrated abilities. If you're rushing <laughs> and there's multiple people, I'm telling you, yeah, it's imagine. underrated. <laughs> yeah. There's a NA team that actually used brim on this map. Except, I think. Oh, okay. It's right now. It feels like there's a little gap where they can stand at the front. Yeah, obviously, if they stand there, it means that they can't, like, it forces them to not back out. But I think that, like, gaining 30, 40, 50 centimeters of space here with the Mali is worth it for losing this part. If you're using this to, like, push someone off of the angle, I would have the center of the Mali be right where the spike is. So maybe he actually just missed a bit. This is good, though. Yeah, 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 for sure. Stuff like, if you make a double shock dart, the second dart needs to be the easy one to line up. Because you usually have a lot of time for the first one, right? But the second one needs to be timed so it hits perfectly together with the, the first one. 